Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how I silicone my glass panels into place. Uh, if you've been watching the prior videos, then you actually already know what silicone we're using, where we got it, and stuff like that. Uh, this panel I already set into place, uh, square and got it square and plumbed. Uh, put my uh, super glue gel in place. This panel steady, ain't going anywhere. This one's actually one of the panels for the bubble trap that's going to be raised off the floor or the bottom of the tank. As you can see, I got CD cases holding it up. I didn't have any books that were the right uh, dimensions. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and put a bead of silicone on each side. It's a little tough to access this one since I just put another panel in before it, but pretty easy enough to get in there. Got some space. So you're going to put a nice even bead of silicone along the joint. Then you're going to come around, do the same to the other side. You always want to try to get both sides. And uh, depending on the size of your gap, you're going to want anywhere from like a quarter inch bead. Quarter inch thick bead is usually pretty good. Depending on the size of your gap, like I said. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the panel here. Now for those of you that have been watching, uh, I gave you guys my little trick for actually getting into panels that are real tight to each other, say for a bubble trap. Uh, I mentioned the round plastic coat hanger trick, cutting the end off, and it usually works pretty well for me. It's about the right size diameter, it's perfect for pushing the silicone into the joints. But for panels like this one here, that you can easily access with your hands, I like to use my fingers instead of some type of uh, caulking tool. Uh, for one, you can actually feel, you know, <clears throat> uh, what type of seal you're putting in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one finger on each side of the panel, starting from the bottom here, and just smear that silicone into the joint. Now by getting being able to go on both sides like this, you, you're actually pushing any air pockets or bubbles out of the out of the joint, out of the silicone, which actually causes a lot of your leaks. And we're gonna go to the other side here and do the same thing. Starting from the bottom, pushing that silicone into the joint real well. One more time over here, and then one more time over here. See now, I personally work with silicone and different seals on a daily basis, so I kind of have a feel for it. Uh, once you do a couple, you'll uh, also have the feel yourself. Uh, when you're happy with your uh, with the joint you just sealed up, basically you're just going to let it be. Let it sit and cure for about 48 hours on this type of silicone and then uh, you know run a leak test. But I still have a couple more panels to put in. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, in the last episode in this one how to actually set it in place, square, get it square and plumb, and actually how to apply the silicone. So I hope that works well for you guys. Uh, before I end this video, I wanted to show you, say like on this panel here that isn't raised off of the bottom of the tank, you seal the very bottom too and the corners I did the same thing just use both fingers and just work that silicone into the corners here at the bottom really well uh, that's a good point for a leak so you want to make sure you you focus on them corners just as well as any other part of the joint um, but that's basically it it's real simple when you're all done just get yourself a clean rag and that silicone wipes off your fingers pretty easily it's really really easy stuff to work with cleans up nice and then after you're done doing your joint if you don't like how some of the silicone looks you can wait till it dries or take a razor blade and scrape excess off i usually wait until it's cured because you don't want to mess with the with this uh, joint sealing at all so i hope that helps some of you out thanks a lot for watching i'll be putting more videos out soon